Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to tell the difference between a hen and a rooster uh, when your chickens are only about a month old or even younger. Uh, that's about how old my chicks are right now, um, but the tips and tricks that I'm going to show you today will be able to help you for chicks that are even younger than that. Um, so I'm going to go grab a hen and then I'm going to grab a rooster and then I'm going to compare the two um, side by side so you can see those comparisons right next to each other. So let's go ahead and get started. These are, or this is one of my month old olive acre chicks and um, I'm going to show you how I know for sure this is a hen. First sign is the size of the comb. So a, ch a chick that's this age, about a month old, that's a rooster is going to have a pretty prominent comb. Uh, so you can see that this little chick's comb is just, it's barely coming in um, and it's not very red yet and her waddles are barely showing too. So those are my two first indications whether or not it's a hen or a rooster. Like I said, roosters at this age are gonna have very prominent combs and their waddles are gonna be coming in pretty decently and they're gonna be very bright red opposed to this chick that's got very dull um, and not very prominent comb. Another indication is going Sorry, I've got chickens freaking out. Uh, another indication is going to be the feather structure and how the feathers are coming in. So around this age, you'll be able to see the feather structure around the plumage of the neck. And a hen's plumage is going to be very round. So you can see these feathers are very stubby, round. Uh, let me grab just one individually so you can see what I'm saying. Um, so they're so light in color but you can see it's very round in shape it's got that very round edge at the very end um, and then the tail feathers the tail feathers are going to be just kind of barely coming in at this age uh, they're going to be curled in towards her body um, <laughs> great lost her. Um, but the feathers are going to be curled up like this, more towards her body um, on her tail. And they're not going to be coming in near as much as the rooster. And then my very last indication is your feet size. Um, feet, leg, uh, what is this, joint size. Those are all indications whether or not it's a hen or a rooster. Um, usually when I see chicks that are about a week old that have got pretty large legs and joints and feet, um, it's usually an indication that's a rooster, not always, but roosters use their legs to protect their hens, so usually big legs are a good indication that it's going to be a rooster. So I'm going to go ahead and put this little spaz back and I'm going to go grab a rooster and then I will grab both of them together and I will compare the two side by side. Okay, so I've got a rooster from the same exact age um, and hatch and olive acre rooster you guys can see from the last chick how much more prominent the comb and the waddles are here on this rooster and again this is my first indication whether or not it's a hen and a rooster when i grab the hen and i put them side by side you're going to be able to see uh, the major differences between the two but obviously this comb would not be as prominent if it was on a hen uh, roosters come into maturity very young. I've had roosters start crowing at two weeks old. So at a month old, they're, they're gonna definitely start having some pretty big comb and waddles come in and be bright red because the hormones are starting to really um, come through. Now, as far as the next thing, the plumage um, and the feather structure. Now, let me show you a feather on this rooster's plumage. Um, you can see the the feathers are a lot skinnier. They're a lot more pointy. So I can grab one here. So you can see the feather structure is a lot more pointy on the end. It's not as round. And then if we're looking on the back end of the rooster, you can see rooster tail feathers already coming in. And this tail is coming in a lot more than the hen's tail was coming in. So these long, skinny, pointy 
tail feathers are um, the start of the rooster's tail. As you guys know, roosters have big fancy tails. So this is just the start of his tail coming in. And he's pretty cute, huh? I'm not sure which rooster I'm gonna keep out of this one yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab the hen so you guys can see right side by side um, and how, you can, how I can see the differences right away. One thing I did want to touch on and mention before I go grab both of the chickens is that every breed is different. So every breed has different size combs and waddles and um, some come in a lot sooner. Some waddles come in a lot sooner on some breeds than others, but for every single breed, the rooster will always have a bigger comb and it'll always come um, develop faster than the, than the hens would of that breed. So. I'm gonna go ahead and grab both the chicks now. All right, so got the hen here, got the rooster here. You guys can see, I mean, this guy has got a rooster looking face for sure. Um, very strong comb, waddles, hens not even coming into maturity quite yet. Roosters will start mating probably about like two or three months old. Hens will not start laying eggs till about five, six months old. Um, so you guys can see the differences just on the face, how much different the hens look from the roosters. Um, and it's gonna be harder to compare the feathers when I'm holding them like this, but um, these are my number one indications whether or not my telltale signs if I've got a rooster in the flock. Um, you can wait a little bit longer till you hear the rooster crow before you decide whether or not you want to keep it or not. If you're in the city, obviously you can't. Um, but um, usually combs will start coming in on your chicks at about two weeks old. So pretty young age, you can start telling right away which ones are the roosters and which ones are the hens. So I hope that this video was helpful um, and gave you guys some tips. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'd love to help you out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.